The Crosbyton Chiefs had a breakthrough 2011 season, going eight and four and reaching the regional semifinals. And with seven starters back on both sides of the ball, 2012 should be exciting. We had a great run last year, made the regional uh, playoffs and uh, had, a, uh, had a good solid ball club. And uh, we're hoping that momentum propels us into this season. We have a good nucleus returning. We had a lot of youngsters playing last year. We lost a good crop of seniors, but I uh, replaced them with a good young crew. I think just expectations and experience from the kids of making the playoffs. And uh, they, they've got a taste for that and want, want to go a little more, take, a, take another step. Non-district will allow this talented group to see where they stand. Start off with uh, Tohoka, Memphis, Sudan, and then Sundown, Flood 8, and Hill Center. Well, it's a little different. We have uh, six teams to prepare for um, before district starts, and so we've got we to battle through six games before we get to the uh, ones that count. Gone are the R's of Rotan, Roscoe, and Roby, but the big rival R remains, Rawls, in a new District 4. Well, it got us back up in Region 1. We've been in Region 2 the last couple of years, and so uh, we're, we're back up in uh, familiar surroundings. We start off with an open date, which is huge for us to, uh, to prepare, and uh, we, we, we play Smire right off the bat and Seagraves, and we've been playing them in the past and have good battles with them, and uh, then we have Rawls and Plains to finish. Well, we, we want to just uh, get to that first district ball game healthy and uh, with, with our guns loaded and ready to, ready to play uh, each district opponent and uh, take it one game at a time and see what that can do for us and uh, see if we can get in the playoffs. But we're all very similar. That's the, that's the best thing, uh, way to describe it. We're all very similar and have very good coaches, and uh, so we, we expect it to be a battle every, every Friday.